Okay, I'm hoping by getting up close and personal, this might help. And if I break it down so you can see the steps. So let's pretend that this is the top of the tailgate for our truck. So we want to start with a shape. Um, we want to start by giving them shoulders, right? We did this yesterday. They're just little parentheses. And then let's talk about the shape of the head. So the shape of the head is going to be, I know yesterday I was talking triangle, but it's going to be, I think, much more square because labs and retrievers, they have much more of a square head. So we're going to have a head that, there's the top of the head that kind of curves. We're going to come in and back out a little. In and back out a little. Oh, my shoulder got weird. I'm going to have to move my shoulder over a little. <laughs> See, even artists make mistakes, right? And then I'm going to curl it down there and curl it down there, okay? So a normal dog head, I shouldn't say normal. I would say um, maybe like a beagle or um, a chihuahua. I think one of you did a chihuahua yesterday. A chihuahua would have much more of a skinny, a skinnier face, right? It would come more down to a point with the nose here. But we don't have that with our dogs. We have um, much, a much squarer, boxier head. Okay, once we have that, we can put those ears on. And those ears are these triangle shapes that come down like this. And they kind of curve around that side of the head. Okay, do one over here. So drop right off, right off the, the head there. And it's gonna come down. They might even curve in a little. And it follows the curve of the head this way. And like that. Looks like my dog's ears are blowing in the breeze a little. Okay. So that's our general shape. So then let's talk, we talked about putting maybe a paw up here that maybe hangs down a little over the, the bed rail and a paw over here. They're like flat Easter eggs, they're flat ovals. Oh, I got one paw too big. This is why we're practicing, right? So there we go. I could even extend those lips, those jowls down a little if I wanted to overhang the truck bed a little bit. I don't know. That might make my head too long. We'll see. Okay. So once I've done that, then I know we have a big, we have a big nose here that's kind of a, I hesitate to say triangle. Let's go with an oval but then I'm gonna point it down a little bit, right? And then we'll have our eyes up here. And I'm gonna angle the eyes just a little, ooh, that makes them look a little mean if you angle them too far, doesn't it? We'll round it out a little, it'll make it a little less mean. So that's the general shape that we're going for, I think. Okay. So now let's talk a little bit. The devil's going to be in the details here. And the rest of our painting is very... Um, if we look back at the original painting with the truck, there's not a lot of detail. Um, so we don't want to get super detailed in the dogs, but we're going to have to add a little bit. So I can, if I have a black dog, I just fill the whole thing in with black. And then we're going to have the concern, it's going to start to look like a blob. So how am I going to differentiate the, um, the ears from the face 
and the paws are gonna kind of all grow into the body here. How am I gonna start to break that out a little bit? So let me finish filling this in. And again, devil's in the details, but hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm trying to accomplish here. So we talked about the light in the truck, on mine anyway, I think yours as well. The light is coming from the right. So with that black on my brush, I'm gonna take, I'm mixing in just a little bit of white and I can pull right along here just a little on that ear. I'm kind of blending a little to pull it apart from, from the body. I can do a little highlight across the top too. And this side of that ear might catch a little bit of light. I know my dog is black, but these little bits of highlight, if you look at a black, I think I said this the other day, if you look at a black dog in the light, the way the sunlight catches their fur, that's going to um, make it look a little gray. Okay, So if this makes you nervous, stay really dark gray. I'm going to come right here along the side of the face, maybe the right side of this paw, a little bit of gray. These are all very subtle things. The right side of this paw. Okay. It's even going to be along the top of the nose where the nose was and down that right side of that nose. Accentuate the side of that lip a little bit more. You could even, again, we don't want to go too detailed, but you could even highlight along this whole side of the muzzle all the way up to the eye. Very subtle. And I know our dogs, um, he's going to be, uh, his eyes are going to be very dark. So we can take, I have a tiny bit of white on there, and what if we just put a little crest of light where his eyes might be? We can continue to play with those eyes a little bit. We might need to get some brown in there, but I want just a little bit of light. Again, I don't want to put too much detail. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about those eyes. I might continue to play with those. Get a little bit of brown in there, maybe. A little bit of brown. Oh, that's looking better. A little brown. I think we need those black pupils right back in the center. There we go. We might do just a little more, the tiniest little kiss of light. Just a little boop and a little boop. So there we go. So I'm hoping you can watch this video, slow it down a little bit, pause it to get the different steps. Um, but I don't know that we want to go much more detailed than that. Okay. We could, if we wanted, we could add... Um, the light catches, if you look at your dog, the light catches the bottom opening of their nostril. So we could play with a little bit of light right there in the nostrils. I don't know how I feel about that. Beauty of paint, right? We can always paint it right back over. <laughs> That's the beauty of paint. <laughs> 